Okay, this is Miss Lena. And if you are a new subscriber to my channel, I want to say thank you before I get started now. And so now I'm getting ready to get started. I have some lamb chops here. And they've already been mar pretty much marinated for a few hours. And I'm, but I will be adding a little bit more as I go. So I'm gonna be putting them in the flour. I'm gonna spray the flour on the tray. These are uh, mini uh, lamb chops, okay? Normally I don't put flour on them, but I am today. So I'll be adding just a little bit more. Every, everything I have here is my garlic powder, the onion powder, the salt and the pepper. And so, but I, since I've already done it, it's kind of hard to, to tell you how to season them because everybody don't like to season everything the same way. I just want to show you how I cook them rather than how I season them because these are many and they're not very large. So I'm just putting a little bit of everything I already have on them so that you can see. Okay. It's hard to get off. Anyway. Okay, it's still coming out. All right, so. I've gone through the routine and I put everything on both sides already. So I'm gonna be putting it in the flour and I'll add a little bit more to the other side, not a much, not very much. Okay. Okay, I'm turning them over just to put just a little bit more season on them before I add them in the flour again, okay? Okay. Okay. So now, I'm just about finished with all this, the rest of the seasoning that I have, okay? Just a little bit of black pepper now. Okay. Now I will be adding. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm getting ready to flour them down. And then I'll be heading to the skillet. In just a minute. It. So, just a minute, I'm going to walk to the skillet and put them in. Okay, I'm getting ready to put them in the skillet. And I only have to cook them about, probably all together about 12 minutes. Just turning them over and uh, getting them brown. And all of everything that I cook in the lamb family, it's always in my family. We always cook everything with lamb, with the uh, Coca-Cola, I'm sorry. And everything was cooked with Coca-Cola from the time I was a little girl up. I, everybody had Coke everywhere for anything in lamb. And it is up. Well, she'll be back. Okay, they are ready to be turned over. They're rather tiny, so it doesn't take very long for them to uh, brown on each side. And I have them on medium right now. Okay, I'm going to have to let them cook down low for maybe three or four minutes, and I'll get back in just a little bit. Thank you. Okay. I'm taking them out. Okay. 
Okay, she's going to let them rest for five minutes and she'll come back and cut, cut them open so you see how pretty it is on the inside. Okay, I had to brown just a little flour so I can start putting the Coke in. In the meantime, hey. I'm going to show you. Uh, to, I'm going to cut a little piece in off here so I can show you how it's going to come out. Okay. Okay. I'm just cutting into it so you can see. There should be a little pinkness in here. That you can see. Okay, so it didn't be all the way done, okay? And also, I cut the cup level, so maybe you can see it closer. All right? Even with this one. All right, I'll cut another one. Maybe it's, you can see it better. Okay, there it is right there. I'm not going to cut it off. Okay? So now, they're just about ready to go into the coke right in next to the coke into the gravy I'm going to let that simmer for just a minute or two just a little bit more in there And this should give it uh, the taste that you need. Then I'm going to be putting uh, the lamb chops back in to the gravy. Because it's already just a little slight boil, just a little bit. You can just see how it's just simmering just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit, just a few more bubbles. And then I'll put it back in. Okay. I'm getting ready to put it back in. But if you don't want it well done then you don't put it back in. But I'm putting it back in for it to get well done. If you prefer it being medium rare, then don't put it back in. And if you put it back in, only put it back in just for the gravy for a minute and turn it over. Okay, so whenever you get ready to put it on your, on your plate, always you can put your gravy on top. And that way you can see the gravy on top of your meat okay and it'll still be medium well or wet um okay and it will still be medium rare and ready to go and it won't and it won't be overcooked okay so i just want you to see that and you can see now if you have the larger ones it may take a little it's going to take a little different time of cooking but the medium these meat are many size it doesn't take that long and so these are very, very tasty. And I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, this is the final touch of my Southern lamb chops. Okay, now I cooked them with gravy. I made gravy, I cooked them uh, five minutes on each side, or six, five to six minutes, till I got a medium rare. And then I took them off. Then I pulled the Coca-Cola in there with my corn starch and on and then I stirred it up a little bit with just a little bit of flour to at the bottom to turn it brown. So now I'm gonna take a, te a taste test for me, for myself, for my, uh, and I know they're delicious because I've had them many times, okay? So I'm gonna take just a little bit of bite off of the lamb chop. Later on, I'll be having them for dinner. Now. These, you can see that I have, they are medium rare. This one is medium rare. So I'm going to put it in my mouth. Okay, thank you.
must be good. Yep. Yeah, it must be good. Yep, it must be good. She's dancing. This is so delicious. You would not believe how tender and delicious these are. So please try your small, mini size lamb chops. They are very good. And you will have a tasty meal with them. You can add whatever vegetables that you would like to have with it. I either can have it over a brace of toast. But it is very, very good. And this is from Miss Lena's Kitchen. And I hope you will try this recipe. If you like the lamb, you will enjoy it more than I can ever tell you. So please have a blessed day. And I thank you all for looking at this video. And I say thanks, thanks, thanks. I love every one of you that will in, that's enjoying my videos. And I hope and pray that you all will be blessed every day. Thank you for my old subscribers, and I thank you for the new ones and for the new viewers that's in. If you see fit, I would love for you to subscribe to Miss Lena's Kitchen channel. Thank you very much. Have a very blessed day. Thank you. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button.